Hi folks, Mikey Bly here with some more Do Not Love Violators Will Be Shot. In the last episode, we harassed some high school girls. <laughs> and it got me thinking though, how the hell do you stop emotionally, not emotionally charged, uh, um, um, hormonal teenagers from being intimate? How do you do that? I mean, the fear that the, 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 the government must have instilled in people must be supreme because that's hard to tear people apart they are not even just high schoolers just people in general it's amazing how the heck they manage to stop people from touching i mean it obviously happens right behind closed doors it must happen but anyway don't overthink it we harassed some high school girls and sold our hand holding services or at least tried to then we got harassed by annabelle who's the new chief the anti-intimus section of the police so hopefully, though, one of the girls we talk to will come to the pier. There's nothing else I can do except pray that some of the girls come tonight. Yes, yeah, pier midnight, some of them, yeah. Okay, one girl at a time. I can only hold one hand, well, two hands at a time. I've got a feeling it's going to be the uh, dour-faced girl, the one that argued with us. Well, kind of the one that was a bit standoffish. I have a feeling if anyone's going to turn up, it's going to be her. I let the day pass cooped up in home base. Well... You could have maybe been trying to find other customers during the day, but okay. I sleep through the hunger for the fourth day in a row. Four days in all foodies. It's not good. Uh, I wake up in a cold sweat. Again. Look. Oh, yay, this place looks glorious. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Is this not where we normally live? Oh, it looks very homely. A nightmare? I try to remember the dream, but I can't. Oh, this is where we live. Well, we could at least make it look a little bit better, eh? to pick up a little bit and move some stuff around. Jeez. How do you expect to have guests over when it looks like this? Car? Uh, she's gone. Of course, no answer comes back. But if we hadn't let her go, then she would have been there. Sleeping alone is nothing new to me, but for some reason, I've been feeling paranoid. Carmen's usually a pretty good foil in these kinds of situations. The clock's almost at 12. I stand up to leave, but before I reach the door... Huh? I grab a metal canister from one of the shells. What is it? Miss! You never be too careful, you know. The, the, the girls might tell all the friends and I might have like 20 girls all clamouring. You know, hey, don't want to get missed, do you? Just in case. What is it? Well, this seems nice. The container yard by the pier is a common meeting place between me and clients. The shipping containers provide cover for many random passers-by. Not that there are any. But uh, probably will be tonight. I've got the feeling that Annabelle's been stalking us. The place has seen no use since the world is frightened of neo Manilan goods. Um, no fucking surprises there. I guess this is the one place they couldn't fence off, right? You can't fence off water. So despite INA not travelling through... Oh, okay, the, the disease. <laughs> not travelling through anything but skin contact, this place still went to rot. Ha! <laughs> uh, every part of my body aches. Every time I played this game, I have just instantly felt achy and tired and hungry. I really do. I don't I just step into Jericho too much, but I really feel it. Knees, hands, not to mention my my stomach. What's the point of saying stomach ache as two separate words when you can just say stomach? Unless it's meant to be saying stomach, but it, it, is, it is a handy dandy mix of stomach and stomach ache. The sounds of birds or bats enter my ears as they fly above. Birds, bats, whatever. Signs of life. Along with it, the sound of the waves crashing against the stones. The waves aren't as strong as they were before the wall was built. A perimeter kept around Neil Manila Bay to stop escapees. Oh, so they did manage to fence slash wall it off. Well, how would goods even expect to get in or out then if there's a big wall in the way? It's not like a ships can dock or anything. They do just chuck things over the wall. But the worst thing is the wind. You'd think the wall would help break it. But the wind remained ice on my cheeks and face. Brrr. 
Yeah, that 35 degrees is like super cold wind. Ugh. My vision is like the static of a television set. Oh God, great. Now that's gonna start happening to me. It's like I get these like sympathy, sympathy symptoms. Sympathums. A mixture of the uh, black and white circles dances in and out of my sight. Do you know what? I hope these girls didn't just bring money. I hope they just brought food. I should have just said pay me in food. It was at a quarter price. Is it a quarter price? Quote an amount of food that you want. I'll hold your hand, but you need to bring me three packs of chicken nuggets. At least three. Any more might get you a couple of bonus extra touches. I'm almost out. I can feel my end is near. Where are those girls? What if I didn't convince them enough? What if something just didn't work? Footy steppies. There's footy steppies. Somebody's here. As if on cue, I hear footsteps approach from my left. But this isn't the footsteps of a group or even of two people. No, one solo person, but you know what? Money is money. I look. You? Of course it was! And see the surprised face of the last person I expected to show up. What are you doing here? You didn't just come to bloody have a go at me again, did you? I... Uh... Yeah, I, uh, I lean over to look behind her, but, uh, not bring any friends, nobody, literally just you. Oh, I don't care. Where's your friends? I told you, right? They're not interested. Oh, so you weren't being mean, you were just being honest. Okay, I apologise for taking that the wrong way. She did indeed say that earlier. Yeah, yeah, see, I mean, we might be starving to death, but I guess the memory is still there, rattling around somewhere. I'm just noticing that she said that they're not interested. Yeah, she said they're not interested, not I'm not interested. Oh, Jerick, oh. I mean, Antonio, remember, remember the fake name. It's Antonio, okay, Antonio. So, um, the girl taps her foot on the pavement, restless. Okay, fine. So, what now? Mr. Antonio, I suppress my giggle, but it ends up coming up through pursed lips. <laughs> oh, what's so funny? Oh, I know you know. I, I can't help it, okay? I really thought you were a creep, but you were all like, no, I'm actually an intimus. Like, how stupid can you be? In the plaza of all places? That's, all right, I got it, I got it, I was dumb. No need to make excuses. On either, in, on either person's part. I'm not making excuses. Her cheeks are puffed up and she seems ready for a fight if I tease her anymore. Well, I guess that could still be counted as intimacy, right? So I'd still charge you if you punch me in the face. There's still a cost involved with that, okay? Can we exchange your name now? I'm Rainer. There! Wasn't so difficult, was it? And is it safe to say that you're here tonight to... Avail of your services, yes. Wasn't that hard, right? Why the bratty act then? Well, she probably had to put up a front, didn't she? Because she didn't want to be suspicious. Come on, Jericho, get your head in the game. You should know how this works. I smile, trying to stop the shaking of the corners of my lips. Alright. Well, uh, pay up. Huh? Cash up front. Standard protocol. The young girl shakes her head. No. I beg your pardon. Give me the service first, then I'll pay you. It's not try before you buy, you know. Which it's a hand. Look, it's a hand. What's the big? Would you do you think it's not going to be worth the money? Do you think I'm going to take the money and run? Oh, oh, really? You really think I'm that kind of guy? I mean, I'm not surprised, but I'm. Really? I'm not going to do that. If in the food bank you pay up first before you get the food, then why not do the same with me? That's because food stores don't run away after you give them the cash. She seriously does think I'm going to dash? Oh my god, I feel so bad. But like I say, I'm not surprised because I didn't do the best of job of not sounding like a complete asshole in the plaza. 
and food stores don't have a history of being called criminals by the police. Well, I mean, point or no point, it's not fair. I couldn't run in this state anyway, but uh, no need to tell her that. I shouldn't show weakness. Yeah, we're trying to be a tough guy, I know, I know, I get it. Fine, but I'm warning you, I won't hold back in hunting you down if you don't pay, even if you're just a kid. Kid! Kid! I'm 18, you know. You talk big for someone who's just 23. Yeah, I know, still got five years on you though, haven't I? Five years older, five years wiser. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, let's just get on with it. Yeah, you're really setting the mood, Jericho. Jeez, come on, if it's meant to be intimacy, you should at least act a bit nicer. I carefully loosen the gloves from my hand. Ooh. Raina's breathing stops. Don't forget to breathe, girl. I don't want you dying on me. I could feel her intense gaze on my hands. But why does see one of these bad boys in the flesh, huh? Except your own, I suppose. Despite this being her first time, it seems like she knows what's going to happen. Holding hands. Wow, it's just, it's just, it, 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 it's a mind-blowing thought that people grow up not getting to touch anybody else in any way, not even holding hands. So that this is like, this is like this, the most amazing thing. Rainer? Yes? Well? Rainer gulps before following suit. She removes the glove from one of her hands with care. Her hand is fair. Under the shade of the moon, I couldn't see well, but it seems she even has manicure on. Oh, trying to trying to show off, are you? No need, there's really no need. I'm not gonna even look at, well, I guess I was looking at your hand. I was gonna say, I'm not even gonna look at your hand, but you know, I guess I was looking at it. Even when all of us have to wear gloves at all times, she still found the time and effort to paint her nails. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you? I guess. How cute. Okay, okay, Jericho, just take a step back, buddy. This is business, remember? You ready? Business, not pleasure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I stepped closer to her and... Oh! Oh, no! I look around. But even with the pool lighting, it's obvious that there's nothing there. The only living things are me, Rena, and the creatures flying about. Okay, the footstep though, what was that? Was that just me taking a step to look around? But despite that, my paranoia is flaring up. Telling you Annabelle's gonna come flying in from somewhere. She's just, she's just gonna bloody she's just gonna bloody parasail down from like nothing from just the sky. Is it nothing? Can I even take that risk? You need money or you're gonna die! Put my gloves back on, what are you doing? Never mind, Rena. Let's call it off. Huh? I have a bad feeling. It's too... Oh my god, did I just pass out? Damn it. My vision's spinning again, alright, okay. So close to passing out, but not quite. Mr. Antonio? Uh, sorry, what? Huh? Oh, you're still there. Oh, yeah, okay, I thought it zoned out for, for longer than that. I catch my breath again. I don't like it. Something's not mixing well with me. Some other time, okay? It hurts to let a client go, but... but wait! Mr. Antonio! I turn around, but Rena just runs in front of me blocking my way. Oh, okay, it's gonna be like that, is it? She's really a stubborn one, isn't she? What are you talking about? What's not mixing well? We had a deal, right? Yeah, but like I told you, it's a no tonight. You saw what happened in the plaza, right? You saw, you, you saw me get, like, my best ribs, like, smacked, right? You, you saw that, you remember that? What's to say that I'm not being followed right now? And they're just waiting for us to touch before they jump out and go, ah, ha, I knew it. You know, I'm just sorry. It's not feeling good. No, not, not feeling, not feeling right. No. Brenda, this is for your own safety too. My intuition's flaring up. I saved my butt a lot of times already. 
Nothing personal, okay? So, please, some other day. It can't be another day. Why is that? Well, she avoids my gaze. Uh, Rena? Looks like she can't spit it out. Well, why can't it be another day? I'm not a mind reader. Why can't it be another day? I humor her for a second. You just call me a kid if I tell you. Well, I mean, I only did that once anyway, so what's the harm? Yeah, you are a kid. But who said I'm not? Right. I don't get to grow up in this kind of world. Now, please. As much as possible. I don't want to lose a client as willing as her. Just don't say it like that. If she has a good reason, even if it's against instinct. Because I can't wait any longer. Huh? When... You asked me when my mother last carried me. Somehow it just made me angry. At everything. At how everything is so cold and empty. At how I see nothing but suffering people, tired policemen and crumbling buildings full of dull colours. I hate it. Rain is shaking, fists clenched tight. I need to know. If there's a way for me to be free of this place. Even if not literally or permanently. I want to experience it. And I can't bear to leave it to tomorrow or to some other time. <sighs> You'll put me in a really tough place here. Please, Mr. Antonio. The girl who stood in front of me looked at the ground with a mix of anger and sadness. Rena, based on what she said earlier, would be my youngest client yet. Carmen and I have been targeting high schoolers for some time now. We were the same age group as then then, but we were kids looking for affection too. But we already had awareness when the incident of Neo Manila happened. Rena, during the incident, would only be three or four. She grew up not knowing a city without walls. Or a world where you had a mother's embrace instead of the mother's wrath. We're in a group not knowing warmth or colour. Wow, really talked ourselves into this one, didn't we? Rena no longer spoke. She no, she said all that could be said. Oh no, I didn't think about saving before this choice came up. Ah! I don't want to leave it though. That was a really beautiful little speech she gave just now, and I mean, what the hell? It's just our first playthrough anyway, and I'm not. I don't want to. Yeah, let's just do it. <sighs> when have I become this week? Fine. Huh? You seem surprised. I'm not the one to talk though. It's like I believe I'm doing this. But, there's a but, there's a catch. If I'm doing this, I really want that payment first. She reaches for something in her pockets and tosses it to me. It's a power bar. Oh, well, you know, it's food, right? <laughs> we need food, even if this just keeps us going for another day. I don't even think. I just rip the packaging and gore it, gore it down. Gore it down? <laughs> Just because I can, I can imagine it just going in in one big, huge, one bite. Mm, really good. Oh, God. You know, if you want to talk up a group of girls next time, maybe make sure your knees aren't shaking. I don't even pay attention to the condescension. <laughs> whatever. Come back in a second, whatever your name is. I just keep eating, no matter how much of a savage I look. If you're approaching us while the CI is there, then you must be really desperate. That's what I thought. I swallow before replying. Yeah, because, you know, you don't want to waste any of that food. If you talk with your mouthful, you'll spit off it all over the place. I was desperate. But I didn't know the chief inspector was there. Yeah, that's what I thought earlier too. While she was kicking you? 
I finished the power on pocket the wrap pocket the, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll just keep that I can lick it later on for a little bit of extra sustenance this isn't the payment you know this is barely worth three tokens I know I know like I said after okay oh so she brought a power bar as a kind of bribe as a kind of a, as an aperitif okay wait no an aperitif is an after an appetizer Jesus my sorry Brainage, not working age. No use whiz against you on a girl this stubborn. I approach closer to her. Once again, I remove my gloves. Okay. Okay! The cold sea breeze freezes my naked hand. Ah, <laughs> cage. You ready? The girl nods. She reaches out her hand towards me. Breathe deeply. It's a bit jolting at first. I reach my hands towards her. I slowly run my fingers on the back of her hand. Oh, so it's not just hand holding, it's hand caressing too. All right then. Rina's whole body tenses under my fingertips. Like any second now, she'll jump away. The first time's like electricity for everyone. My fingers travel the back of her hands. They glide down her fair skin. Okay. A bit over descriptive. My fingertips circle around, going up and down. Everything starts to sharpen around me. My lungs fill with the salt in the air. Well, we got away with it. Did we get away with it? Around me, the colours of the giant shipping containers start to come to life. The clothes I'm wearing feel hotter and heavier. It's coming back to me. The real warmth of Neo Manila. <sighs> Rena's breaths are quick and shallow. Her outstretched hands shivers underneath my fingertips. I could feel the tight and tense muscles in her hands. Rena, stay calm. Don't pass out now. Don't, don't want to waste experience, dear. It's like there's something crawling up my hand and up my stomach. I chuckle. <laughs> Just means you're the sensitive type. I grab her fingers in my hands and run my thumb across her knuckles. Man, it's making me yearn for touch and I don't live in this world. Huh. Shh, it's okay. It's really like that at first. I think... I think I'm going to die. If I had Mother Rena, I wouldn't be so cruel as to give it to you. No, no. It's more like I'm burning. Rena loosens the scarf around her neck. With her teeth, she bites the tip of her other glove and pulls it out. Pulls it off, you mean. It falls out of her teeth into the ground. And yet, she makes sure we didn't separate. I turn over her hand and run my thumb across her palm. This is a very touching moment. I mean, literally and emotionally. Mr. Ha! Huh? Shh! Someone might notice us. Rena covers her mouth, but it doesn't last. I can't. I can't breathe. It's like my lungs are full. That's just the air, Rena. No need to worry. Damn, I might be in over my head with this one. My fingers find the gap in between hers. Let's stay like this for a bit. I fix my fingers so they're intertwined with hers. And for a moment, I forgot my intense hunger. My shaking pauses. My chest becomes fuller. And so does my core. My cheeks grow warm, even if the wind of the night is so cold. My client, though, looks haggard. Talk to me, Rena. What are you feeling? It's hot. It's so hot. Your hand is cold, but it's so hot. That's the numbness fading away from your body. 
It's a mix of the heat from your body and the natural warmth of Manila. Also, also, Rena stares at our surroundings. The containers and the lights, they're so vibrant. It's like when you finally, finally get to touch somebody, you suddenly remember that there is a real world around you and not just some kind of fabricated grey blur. It, it opens your mind as well as everything else. It's so cool. That's so, that's such a very well put forward idea about how that could affect you. Not being able to touch anybody for like all of your life or most of your life. She turns around, still making sure our connection doesn't break. This one's red, that one blue, and that one. She glances at the sky. Rin observes the moon the clouds, and the few stars that could be seen. Wow, I always thought the sky was black, but there's a hue to it. It's a more amazing sight in the, in the province. You can actually see the stars. You, you've gotten out? T to the province? I'm from the province. So is Carmen. Carmen? My childhood friend, she's not around anymore. Not dead, just she, she let her go somewhere better. She was also my partner, but we uh, went our own ways. Wait, Carmen, Carmen's partner. Don't tell me you're, oh great, I keep forgetting that people actually know me. I smile and wink. Without trying to look creepy than I already have portrayed myself to be today. Rena's eyes are wide open. She mouths my real name. Here I go. Here I go. Are you scared? We have to use an alias, but me and Carmen are not bad people or anything. We always make sure to be careful. She doesn't answer. Instead, her grasp on my hand tightens. You shocked me there, Mr. Jericho. If I knew earlier, I would have thought twice about coming. But there's something after all this. I somehow trust you more now. Good, kind of the idea. A person who provides these kinds of amazing sensations to others couldn't be evil, right? What you're talking about is the very definition of a demon. I'm already in hell. I don't care anymore. As long as I'm free for even a little bit. Her hand is wrapped around mine tight. I don't know if she notices, but there's a small smile on her lips right now. I certainly noticed. A rare sight. A real smile. When she isn't acting all childish and bratty, she can actually be really cute. Don't fall into that trap, Jericho. Hand holding only, young man. So, so uh, Raina, about the payment. Was that a footstep? The warm feeling in my stomach is replaced by a sharp blade. Somehow the pieces all suddenly fell in place. Now I know why my intuition is tripping. It's too quiet. Rena? Hmm? Did you tell anyone where you were going tonight? No. Why? Even your classmates? They're fine with just beating a real-life intimus. You're too expensive, you know. Your parents? They're asleep. Look, I made sure everything will be fine for tonight. Did you make sure no one was following you on the way here? That's probably going to be the most important question of the ones I just asked you. Ren looks at me with a puzzled expression. Who would be awake at this time of the night? That's right. It's your first time. Because of the earlier debacle, all I told them earlier was time and location. They wouldn't know there were still some light patrols at night. I didn't warn Rena. They'd probably tell you here. Huh? Who did? Shh. With all my senses sharpened. My hearing. The slow tapping of boots against cement. Uh-oh, Annabelle! Whispers.
the quiet cocking of guns. Brenna? I can feel her hands going cold. Brenna turns her head from side to side. Put guns back on! Gloves back on! The danger in the air is so thick, even she can sense it now. Jer Jericho? What's happening? Brenna? Yes? Listen to me closely. I just want you to survive this, okay? Shit! Forget about me. Screw me. I don't want you to get caught up in my bullshit. Oh no, I didn't know there was going to be another decision! Oh, but if I, if I get to stay with me, then she might... We might both end up getting screwed over. She, she, okay, if she runs, she might be okay. Uh, run! I want you to run as fast as you can and get the hell out of here, okay? But, but, I'll stall for time. It's me that they want, not you, okay? That was a lie. According to law, anyone caught in the act of exchanging skin contact is up for capital punishment. But, I'll make sure you get out of here alive. But you have to run. Now. I let go of Rena's hand. I grabbed the metal canister from my side. The metal canister that I brought with me. Oh, shit. Take this. It's a smoke grenade. Oh, that's what it is. She grabs it, but she looks at me still with second thoughts. Go! I push her and turn around to the empty night air. Oh, my God, this is so tense. Holy crap. Behind me, I hear the steps of running away. Chief Inspector! I shout. Even though it's the dead of night. For some reason... I have a feeling. I know you're looking for me. That she's here. On the contrary, Mr. Antonio. I'm looking for both of you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm alone. Client didn't show up. Poo me. Poo me going hungry for another night. That's rich. Trespassing just for the hell of it. Yes. Got a problem with that? I'm a rebel. What can I say? Annabelle glares at me. I see. Maybe you'll be a bit more truthful at the station. It's the small grenade. It distracts Annabelle for a second. That was my chance. I dash forward. My aim is at the holster. If I could hold her hostage, you fucking good luck with that. But before I could disarm her, she retaliates. Of course she does. Her free hand tries to push me off while keeping her holster away from me. I position myself inside her... What? Hang on, that doesn't make any sense. Inside her body? What? Hang on. I... No, I can't grasp that sentence. Between her and the gun and use my body as leverage? But that didn't work, right? Of course, a rifle bullet strikes me on my right temple and knocks me to my knees. Of course it does. Ow! The girl pushed me away with a kick from her boot. You all right, ma'am? I'm fine. Secure the suspect. Oh, I'm surrounded by multiple personnel. None of them try to handcuff me. Uh-oh. This could be swift. Wasted effort. Instead, they stand around. And wait. The other one escaped, ma'am. The tear gas. It's fine. Just fill me in later. But, ma'am, the guard whispers more information to her. I catch several key words. Female. Partner. Carmen? Annabelle looks at me with renewed interest. You haven't been wholly truthful, Mr. Antonio. Or should I say... Jericho? Ah, oh, shit. It's like everybody's the point of having a secret identity. Everybody figures it out anyway. I attempt to get up, but the barrel of an automatic rifle pushes me down. You have a pretty penny on top of your name. Shame we didn't get the other one. Do they think that Rena is Carmen? I mean, that could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, right? That's good. At least they won't hunt her down anymore. Oh, okay, yeah, I was going to say, I was hoping it was a good thing. To be honest, Jericho, I'm a pretty generous person. On a good day, I will have a use for a person of your caliber. Why is that underlined? That makes me worried. But, 
today's not that day, I'm afraid. Oh, wow, I got the Sunday ending. Oh, wow, well that was brutal and to the point, wasn't it? I don't know if I'm done with this game. I don't know if I want to finish playing it here. I, I want to see which other route you can go down. I'm really curious. I'm really curious. I want to get more endings. Maybe not all 13, but I think we should at least shoot for another couple and see where we go, huh? So many different routes you can go down, so many different choices to make. Oh god, I've got to keep playing this. I've got to keep playing it. I've got to keep playing it. Do you want to see more of it? Do you, do you, I mean, I can totally play it off, off, off. I can play it on my own, but if you're interested to see some more endings, let me know in the comments below and um, I will play some more and get some more of the endings. And if you want to go and get some of the endings yourselves, um, as always, the link is in the description below, so you can go and download this for yourself and play it for yourself and get the endings yourself. That was a ride. That really was. That was an experience and a half. I really enjoyed it. So good. I am actually so glad that Rena survived. I'm so worried that if I kept her with me, that we just both died. Oh my God. But I mean, that's an option you're going to take at some point. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. Right. We may be back with this. We may not be. Let's just see how things go. Don't forget to hit the like button before you disappear if you uh, have enjoyed my trek through one of the endings. One of the playthroughs of Do Not Love Violates will be shot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button too if you want to pop on back and check out maybe some more of this. And definitely the other games that I play. I've been Mikey Bly and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now. Thank you.